All right, happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, so tonight is Jake Bender's night. And Jake wants to look at how long can we last in the life without getting sad? Basically, sticky, kind of that sticky hands drill that we've done before, correct? Yeah, or you keep your pops in the tiny state, top of without losing everything. Hey, like a limb or a neck yeah. or something like that? Yeah, we that's a good job. Yeah. Previously, another class that I found that you can get through five or six mm -hmm. transitions, you end up in a place where you can turn the your turn the tide. Yeah. But you have to last five or six times to get sad. So my my goal is a try not to get to five or six. Yeah. Like if you can get one and take them down, good. Uh, because the more attempts they have, the more likelihood you have to lose. But being able to you know wheel and deal and stuff like that, great skill to have. So. We're gonna basically start tonight with one, and then that two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, okay? Until we can actually get there, just so we don't kind of go into it. I think some of the people are like, what the hell are you even talking about? Don't even know, that many even probably see some of you guys have, um, but so we're gonna start with one, just keep leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, so by the end of the night, just basically, just keep going, and you're gonna get, you know what? So like, wait, so let's start, Jake, why don't you go uh, here? So start with one. Step one is hand your attack for a knife. Step one, right. Find, Step one. Find the, the problem. Try to stab. Okay. So, we'll start with a uh, gut stab coming in. Yeah. All right. We're just going to move here. Just to start. Next, let's go one, two, three. Second one comes back. Okay. So, simple move outside. This side go. Oh, all right. Next time. So right over here, go, come on back, you know, okay. So first one's coming in, whoa, moving out to the outside, he's coming back to that belly stash, keeping that fly, getting in here, so behind. Taking down, it's only Okay, all right, start there. Uh, Mate, real quick, so this one's on your neck. Uh, so let's look at initial position real quick, and this is important at, at this is important at yellow belt, but even as a brown belt or a green belt, we should be able to appreciate the difference between one, where you can see how far how far away and how behind how behind we are. In all in all honestly, do you do you feel like that path is the way you want to cut right now? What do you think you want to do? I want to come back and pretty sad because that just looks like a very army type of attack. Yeah, that's a so that could happen one of two ways. One, the attacker, go ahead and attack. See Miles ending range, he's looking real good. He's got me kind of right on the end of that knife. He's got maybe three or four inches of stabbing into me to do. Versus, you know, going way far past. So let's make sure the attack matches uh, the intent here. When we look at our position, ooh, can we maybe get to a spot, yeah, where we're maybe a hair more in front of them. Now this makes a, a lot more sense for them to cut back and shit. Your first position, will dictate the next attack, and that's gonna be one of the first big things that's gonna be really important when we're looking at this. Where are you? What happens from there? Mate. <laughs> Mate. All right. So see, a lot of people, they're, they're really paying attention to the knife, which you should. All right, don't get me wrong. But when you have a knife, you guys, it's easy to hyper-focused on the knife. All right, so I'm gonna still the rest of the structure kind of go to tell. So I'm seeing a lot of people, this is coming to I know what this thing's at the same time, from here to here. Right, this is the target. So you can get. Oh man, my structure is just how. Since I'm going fast, I can get right back in there. Does that make sense? I'm going to suggest as this comes in here. All right, forward weight, so I have this here. Now, it's only really here. That's the issue. As I get cut in, I can just back to this one. I don't have to move my feet. All right, I can just shift my weight back, take this right out of the equation. Keep that contact. Reestablish. Go. Okay. So we don't, we're not going to have time to, to step all the way back and do a Charleston. Does that make sense? All right. So one more time from the second place. He comes in. Get perpendicular to this. All right. You're going to get this all, a lot of perpendicularity today. As this comes in, shift your weight back. Change that footing. Uh, so good job. Actually, y'all are looking pretty good so yeah. far. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have any big complaints, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Matt, you have a knife? You have glasses. <laughs> Very dangerous. Glasses. Uh, so, 
So let's let's break this down just a little bit. For some of you, this will be familiar. For others, this might be new. So our first our first technique starts. I'm noticing a lot of folks are starting here. Uh, Matt, where are you going to tackle? <laughs> where there's not as much defense. Can't guarantee it, but let's talk probability. Probably more likely I'm going to get attacked where my hands aren't than where my hands are, unless he's trying to cut my hands. But he's a murderous scumbag, so he's trying to stab me. Now what, if, now, what if we were kind of, well, dude, put down the knife. I don't want to any hey, trouble, dude, maybe without laughing. And, uh, and as he comes with the knife, ooh, now, now this maybe makes sense to get out to the spot. So one of the things we're working on, even from the get-go here, and again, it will be important, is this idea of potentially staging somebody. Is anybody unfamiliar with that term in this conversation? Okay. I won't talk you up about it. Uh, long story short, I want him to feel like he has a definite path of attack. Definite path of attack. Yeah. Whoa. Definite path of attack. And there's a big difference between this potential path of attack <laughs> versus this, right? We're not necessarily here playing, uh, playing, uh, you know, Okinawa karate here. We're uh, we're just trying to stay out of the way of the night. This could happen by accident, it could happen on purpose. Right now, eh, I'll let you pretend to do either. Now that's starting to come by, and we're stepping in to take that space. Um, Want to add in a third attack? Uh, let's actually Let's switch the position on the arm. That sounds like a plan to me. So it's like this little base says. He comes in like, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, he obviously, he's, he's going to slide right down there, right? Uh, what if for some reason, because this is maybe a little bit higher, so the, oh my god, I have him one here. Well, Matt, that downward cut really isn't available at that point in time. No, Matt's gonna, Matt, this thing's gonna come right in through there. I think you can see that, right? I just I just have to catch him wrong, make you slip like, oh crap. And now, and then this is, as that comes in, I'm gonna raise this up. And come right back in the same way. All right, I'm gonna get under my arm, raise my arm up, and put it by. So as this comes in, oh my god, uh oh. It's up. Let's change the positioning now. So this is something you can use later. As this is going on, the position of your arm dictating and staging. Well, I'm going to stage it so we can step here so I kind of know what his next move is. Like, oh, you're setting him up for the next shot. All right, the more probable shot. Oh, I have to be good. Well, I kind of know where he's going to go. Does that make sense? Perfect. Right. Mate, se second related note. I'm very sorry to interrupt, guys. I'm very sorry to interrupt. Uh, just because it's, it's going to come up. <laughs> and it kind of already is in some room. Okay, thanks, sir. Perfect. Uh, right now, again, we're playing with this, we're doing this very deliberately. That step's gonna look. We're just kind of in the spot where, the, where we know this attack is coming up high, that I go to cut back against it, we know that's coming, and so we're attacking it. It's fine and good, that's what we're training. But uh, what if it was an accident? Say it's out the Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> oh, we're not, we're not so perfect now. When you guys get to the actual knife uh, red door, your knife flow drills, you're not really having, you're all familiar, you've all done it. You don't have that time to really think and necessarily set up your stage. What if that attack comes in and you came in this way? Just, you didn't happen to go on the outside, it just ended up like this. Well, now we know that the stage is kind of this way. Ooh, yeah, now we know where that's kind of going up. Cool, we got some stuff going now. <laughs> so, um, I want you to think about this as. Uh, something that we're definitely working on, but if you're taking this in your head, it's this big, it's this big moment of, uh, of of work here. You're actually kind of losing the idea that this is actually maybe a bit more slap dash. So yes, sir. The set of movement being actual intent to stab the person, is there anything that you can do to be better as a training partner? Great question. Um, I would say uh, keep your attacks accurate, keep them honest. Uh, have some intent behind them, and I know that, that, that you kind of mentioned that, but there is a big difference between accurate attack, um, oh, there we go. That, that looked a heck of a lot better than me, uh, felt a lot better, show some uh, little intensity with what you do. And if, you, and if uh, the UK knows okay, I'm supposed to be attacking up top, and it just doesn't feel like I, just, I wouldn't up. Like you're, you're not tempting me to go there. You know, you need to be in a different position. Oh, now I want to come get you. Okay, give that feedback. 
Let's do that. Let's do this on purpose. Defender, option one. Woo. What, what attack is this baby? Low attack, right? Defender, option two. Yo. Here we are, now we're down into the high attack. If I come down here, and my attacker is coming from my gut, then I know my attacker is not throwing a, a, an accurate attack. At the very least, they really screw themselves over. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like I could do that. Yeah, it doesn't, it, yeah exactly, it's, it, it kind of feels awful. Or if I'm hearing he's trying to cut through my face, or he's trying to cut back up, well, we know that he's not necessarily paying attention to what I'm doing, which I hope they are. I hope they yeah. should do a natural path to the attack very easily. Does that make sense? Sure. Hit it. Let's just add one, one variable. Right now, where is the attack coming? There's our first attack. Every single time you begin to stab, where? It's the belly. So uh, what if the attack was coming up to the face or head? Yeah, maybe it's slash you. Uh, we'll keep it a stab for now, but he's maybe stabbing you in the throat or face. Oh. Um, we're moving to that Wait, whoa! Now all of a sudden, this spot makes a heck of a lot more sense. I thought he was going for my body, but he kind of went for my face. I don't necessarily know. So, if he's going for my body, but I'm just kind of naturally up, I bet you you're probably more likely to get here. I would say likely. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that this is fairly, fairly realistic. Same movement, attack to the face. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> uh, play with the attacker now is going to determine where that attack is. If someone's hands are down by their belly, they're probably going to stab you in the face. If your hands are up by your face, they're probably going to try to stab you in the belly. What's the fun with that? Watch that. Watch that. Matt, can I So as you go through this, it's, um, there's an emote in here. All right, so Matt comes in. <laughs> This comes back here. This is the start of an emote. All right, I like this. This is good. I really don't want to do this. This is bad. All right, I see a lot of people trying to get in this hip, and they're just pushing this arm back and trying to hit them and trying to go back. It couldn't work yet, but man, if you mess this up, you slip. That thing's coming right back into you. So as this comes through, I need to find my hand here. All right, from here, now I know where the knife is. I know it's pointing away from me. I know that's a harder position to get out of. I know that's gonna affect his spine. I know that's gonna affect his spine. Him walking out of this right now is actually pretty hard. He tries to take that step back, he's gone. Okay. Comes in, he comes out of here. And even though I get to here, Matt can step back, I'm not in a great spot. All right, we don't have control from enough. Now, can we deal with this? Absolutely. Is this a wonderful spot? We're not all the way. So here's the tricky handy work. As this is coming in, I'm actually going to try to get my thumb under the other side of his arm. Now I have this. All right, will you be able to get there all the time? If he's really supinated like that for some reason, that would be very hard for me. I'll have to work it through this angle and I'll probably get closer. Long, but at least it's away from me. Ideally, I'd like to be here, which means as this is coming low, I'm actually going to push it up a little bit. All right. Same thing with the top one. He comes in. I like this. All right. He doesn't. I have a lot of great throws in there too if I do. I have a very easily broken arm if I need it. All right, so don't control them just with brute force. Really get that moment, get that twist on there. It will make a big difference to them. Their, their options of backing out will be a lot less, a lot less. Good. So we're going to uh, add, add a bit of a step. Uh, so I've got my partner right here. He's got that gut stab. And oh, you troll, he went by me, you clever guy. So he knew I was going to the inside. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, so, uh, so woo, we're kind of moving here. He cuts through to the belly. Whoa. Here we are. Now he decides to maybe cut back to the face or head. Ooh. Now we're working the same sort of thing. I'm not grabbing the wrist. Uh, really, I'm practicing the body movement. If you happen to grab the wrist, by all means, if, if you can get that good emote, I say go for it. If you don't have the emote, try to have a good juji on the, on the arm, a good perpendicular relationship there. He goes to pull the arm back in. Uh, okay. 
oh, I'm not dead yet. We're not perfect. He goes to try to push this arm back to me and, and hit me. If I move well, and I have good alignment, well, I'm not dead. I still have some control here. Uh, ideally, you get to here. If you don't, can't beat the ideal, you get to here. Uh, that's what we're looking at. So one more time. Inside. Whoa, Jesus. Ooh. And we're and we're moving. Yeah. Does everyone see that okay? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna steal you two and I'm gonna separate you guys real quick because I got something I need you to both to work on and I'll have uh, you two work together. So I'll throw them out. Um, yep, you can. Uh, Mate, real quick. So here's gonna be the immediate temptation. And and if you've done this, you'll know you've done it. Oh, uh, you don't have that, do you? Uh, Jake, you got that? Perfect, it's your class. All right. Very easy to get handsy with this one. One, two, three. Uh, I didn't really move a heck of a lot, did, did I there? It's very, very handsy. Uh, I, I don't want to get caught thinking he's doing one attack. Uh, he's actually doing another, and I'm not on position. So I want to make sure you can move that hip is that hip is moving. Oh, that hip is moving. Yeah, now we got one stuff. We can start working. But, um, yeah, just take the filet with you. You know, it's a nice cut. Throw it right on the grill. Uh, so, not one, two, three. That's what we're looking for. Keep going. Let's talk a little bit about, about direction. Jeff's on that a so called gap gate part because I, I've, seen, uh, I've seen some folks running it bumped up in one spot. The so, uh, perfect. Perfect. So that first step is going to be easy. Here comes that first step. Ooh, here we are. I'm seeing some folks trying to run all the way this way. Here's their direction. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead then. <laughs> yeah, now I'm trying to just play like, it right. Like, and it's like, a, it's like that one scene on a saving private ride. Right? Everyone's like, Watching. So, uh, what I'd like you to think about is with your Sotogake, we're displacing this hip. We've already moved forward, we've taken the face and head, not just grab the chin and try to push it. We've taken that space. I'm going to move and displace this hip with my head. That's, that's the Sotogake that we're looking for. Yeah? Kind of look familiar? Yeah. You know what we mean? As opposed to trying to run straight sideways through, you're just going to bounce off and it's going to look like that. You don't want them. <laughs> so then, which is, and it's a good thing, great to see you guys. But first, back on the dead, he's going to be pretty solid. I'm just getting out of the way, oh my god. He's solid right yeah. now. You want to do a pretty decent position, I must say. So as this second one comes in, oh, whoa! Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing this. He's actually still in a decent position. Oh, this one? No, 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 is as that oh, no, down no, no, instead of stepping no, here and rotating on his arm and letting him just put it where he wanted, as that would be out, I go up. And now I can have that upward press a little bit more. So this makes a little bit more sense. Okay. So again, we're seeing, we're making this, and it's a lot easier. This rock. Whoa, wow. That's a lot easier. That upper cut, I mean, that is really your own choice. This downward shot is not an option because he physically can't, his arm down around it. He physically can't pull his arm down around my elbow. The upper shot is the only shot he has. But if I was here, you'd easily come back down. So I'm putting him in a position, not only tempting him for the shot, that wanting him to come up here, he can't not. Getting back down there would require me to physically move before we have the leg. Uh, this is the only time he's out there. Okay? You see it? Fine. Step in on that. Pull up shot so they're actually here. On that leg, you're moving. It's not that. It's consolidating here. Ah, 
Monte, let's, uh, let's change the end of this a little bit by changing our position relative to the second attack. So, Mr. Jake, give a knife. Yeah. It has a knife, fantastic. So we're going to start off on, uh, working on the inside. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so right now what we've been playing, he's been cutting back to the inside, and we've been kind of stepping out this way. Now we're almost kind of going back over here. Well, what if we changed our position and angle a little bit? <laughs> As that comes in, we're stepping in and advancing with him. Let's take this over here. Yeah. Do you want to see that, Jacob? Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, two, we're kind of following this. We're settling on it. We're not here. So you, he, he has all the controllers rolling right here, right? Yeah, he didn't want to chip. So that's it. That's fine. All right. Brad, we're settling on it a little bit. Yeah, now he goes to pull this back and this is a lot All right. This one's ready to go. You can be able to one, two, three. Once three out of the team, there's your monk tank. Now, this attack is going to be very hard. Uh, Lynn, do you have a knife? Right. You're back. I just want to get to the top. I just want to get to the top. Okay. One hand on the ball. Small enough first. Ready to stop them. Tighter first. Second hand on it. And then you can, because once you get two hands on the first, I'm going to fuck with it. You can start really affecting their structure. Slice and, and dice. Uh, right. makes, makes French fries. So one hand, uh, question is the second hand. Oh, it's Woo! Are you also want Time for four. Josh. So now we got four. There's some trickiness in here. See? So let's just start. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, you may be like, oh, I'm here. All right? So watch this hand first. This is my focal point. So as he comes down and around, I mean, the general rule, if you can keep a hand on, you'd be a lot better off. Because you know what they're doing. You know? I mean, they know what they're doing. I mean, ugh, I'm always trying to feel what's 
going on, so I'm going to be following this as much as I can. If I'm not leading, I don't know where he's going. And now i got to pick it up mid-strike, that's going to be hard. If I get some type of contact, the second he flinches, he's going down. Right? The second he moved that, mu that muscle to go down, I knew what he was doing. Right? And I can adjust. He can do something else. I can, I can work with it. He went up. But if I'm here, I have no clue. Until I visually see it. It's too late. It's too late. So I can pick this up way faster. He didn't flinch it. All right, so try to keep it. You just you can tell so much earlier, so much earlier what they're doing. All right, good. So I'm going to be the exact thing. So now we're in the we've done this lunch. It's basically about an hour and a half. I'm going to be the exact And so the attacks are, you know, getting like, okay, yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, I thought this was going to win. So I'm going to go slow, but I'm still going to get turned. Look, you know, I'm still trying to kill him. I still thought that first one was going to work. I still thought that was going to work. I still thought that was going to work. This, stop. You screw up, I still kill you. Right? Teach you to not do that. All right? So I'm not going fast, but I'm going very, I'm giving you pressure. Very determined. Okay? And I'm going to cover space. There's no knife attack, but there's going to be, you know, okay, and one, okay, she move out of the way, and one, and two, and I'm not move my feet at all. There's no emotion in that, okay? So remember, okay, it's, it's, it's again, it's a good for now, but try it every once, every time, it's brand new, brand new. And because of the aggression, because of that commitment, the technique will actually be easier to get, okay? This is fun. Imagine like trying to read Shakespeare <laughs> with no tonal inflection or accent. Right. Yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's have five. Hard. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Just get your there. Five. I need to get the break. It doesn't go right. There it is. There it is. Nice yeah. shot right here. back here. So he's trying to do. I'm pulling the side out of the way and I'm going to extend my arms to kind of almost create like a wedge. So now I'm push you back on these arms. Very hard. Very hard. I'm not there. You can power through those. Right? Go. Ah, all right. So I'm pulling that and I'm actually blocking these out a little bit. Yeah, go. All right. Stay. Then we take this and we put it over his head to the front of his throat, and then we cut him. We do a forward roll. Okay. All right. So we're scoring at four. Guys, real quick, just to, just quickly, what we're going to do next, I just want, I just want us to cover it now while we can get it on camera, is uh, we're going to be working on that float uh, a little bit, but still like 10% students, so super, super, super. Right, 
the idea is I'm moving, he's cutting, I'm moving, everyone's familiar with what we're talking about here. Ooh. Oh, cool. You might be able to start getting stuff in here, you might not. Not to worry about your ability to counter. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for your ability to move. Keep going with what you're working on. We got about mm, three minutes. 